All right, guys, we have a guild battle against Epic Fail Delta today. Um, looks like we've already won, so I'm going to hit the highest HP in each bracket between plus one, plus two, plus three. So it looks like it's going to be AJ, Georgie, and uh, Nuka. So let's start with AJ first. All right, so he's got the typical Kamun Theo retash. So what, with this one, I usually like to bring my own Tessa Chasun and a Wusa to kind of not let retash do anything. And the bottom team, Bing Yan, Jean, and Hua Dan. Okay. I think I want to go something like this. It's a little bit risky, but I think if we can kill the Hua Dan turn one, uh, it shouldn't be too bad after that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with this. Ideally, you want like immunity on both. Mm -hmm. Nah, you know what? We're going to go. Feng Yan. I think my Rakuni's in here. Feng Yan, Rakuni, Perna. Do we have to use... Perna? Yeah, we'll use Perna. Perna makes it a bit safer. Alright, so with this sort of comp, I like to target um, Kamun first. Okay, we didn't land the armor break. That's a really tanky Kamoon. So we can land a glance on him, so we reduce the amount of damage he does to us. Um, we might change target here if we got the armor break available. Yeah, we do. So we might change target and go for Theomars. We land the armor break on him. We did not get the uh, Oblivion though. But we do have armor break on him. So we will continue targeting him. Um, we will save that actually. So what we're hoping for next attack now from, um, uh, from Tessa is to Oblivion him before critting him. There we go. And now we should be able to kill him. There we go, we got rid of Theomars, and now we just work down Kamun, and then we work down Retesh after that. So, this is usually a safe approach to take on the Kamun Theo X comp, um, if it's not like a Chisun or a healer, so it's probably the best way to approach it. Um, as long as your Tessa can be quite tanky, should you, um, should you, uh, Oblivion the Theomars, he will only target Tessa around in this comp, so you just gotta be careful of that. So yeah, we'll just continue working down this Kamoon. It's on Nemesis by the looks of it as well. So the only issue is the only armor break source in this comp is the uh, Tessarion. So it can be quite a long process of trying to work these guys down. Ooh, what's this? Someone just summoned the Yon Hong. Wow. Someone just summoned the Yon Hong in chat. They just won, they officially just won the game. What's going on B-dubs and Ali? We're just uh, recording this YouTube video. Um, Guild War YouTube video. This, Kamoon's back to full HP. Note that if this was during Rush, uh, uh, Guild War Rush, I would probably Zyros it. We can't even work down We can't even work down this commune right now. Come on, we can't even armor break it. It's got high resistance as well. We're probably gonna see the uh, draw button pop up soon, and this and this retouch keeps um, proccing as well. So I think he's got the heal up again next turn. Let's see if we can get a sleep on him. Unlucky sleep? No, we don't. All right. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I'm going to change targets. I think.
Let's see what rank this person is. Fighter 3 with the Yunhong now. Congrats, dude. Come on, armor break, please. Oh my god. We can't land the armor break to save our life, guys. Oh my. <laughs> this fight is taking ages. And uh, I think my... My uh, fear mask is on revenge, but he's not revenging. There we go. Okay, now we hit that whatever. That took a while, but we got it done. The first fight. Still got a second fight left after this. There we go. We got the armor break on the retesh. So that's a really nicely ruined uh, Kamoon, by the way. So good job, AJ. Ragdoll? To back it? Nah, it's a Leo. <laughs> Imagine if that was a Ragdoll. We'll jump out of the channel for now. Bruh, are we gonna be able to kill this guy? I love how my units just don't proc either. Oh, there we go. We finally got a counter. Alright, and that's a dead... Dead retouch. Alright, so this fight was the one that was a little bit on the trickier side. Let's see if we can stun her up. Nope. Stun. Nope. Stun. Nope. Uh, I wanna... I gotta work down the... Uh, what's it called? The Hua Dan first. So, I did this skill to kind of hopefully... Nope. No, I'm gonna break. No stun. Now we'll just nuke her. Okay. With the armor break still on her, we'll still target her. But this defense is actually solid in, in the sense that it's a good, um, it's a good. Uh, stall defense. It takes a while to beat, but it's it's not too not too hard to beat. It'll just take a bit of time. Feng Yan can do Feng Yan things, but relying on Feng Yan to do a lot of work. Oh my god, I should have probably done the uh, the revenge skill there. There we go. Alright, we're gonna change target here. Okay, we got the armor break onto. I'm gonna break onto the Hua Dam. Finish off the Hua Dam here. Do this. Oh, I think he might put the shield up on herself. Nope, no shield on herself. So, she's kind of doomed herself now. Oh no, I'm gonna break though. So, I mean, dodge the board there. I'm a break, please, so at least Perna can do some work. Alright, Perna can do some work now. Alright, we'll do this to protect ourselves again. It said work, Perna, not that, uh, nothing. Alright. Right. So, this is a friendly fight in terms of Guild Wars, because we are, we are fighting Epic Foul Delta. My old, my old stomping grounds. Um... We are almost there in terms of getting this one done. There we go, so we take down AJ. Alright, next person on the target list is Georgie, because he has the next highest. Molong, Vivashell, Perna. Hmm. Molong, Perna, Viva. So we're going to do Zyros at the bottom. Hmm. 
Do I want a thing in this? No, not really. My long pen of di uh, diner. So what we're gonna do is, uh, if I outspeed the Molong, um, I'm gonna go second skill first. If I Molong outspeeds me, I'm gonna reckless assault his Molong after it reckless assaults my Perna. Okay, so I outspeed it. So we're gonna go second skill. We get the stun onto the Molong. So we're gonna work down this. Oh. Perna loses first life. That's actually a really bad situation now. So I need to trade here. I need to trade Perna for... I need to trade Perna for Perna. Can't armor break. Force her to heal. So we're going to lose Perna here no matter what, I think. Um, doesn't matter if I stun the Perna, because she's just going to... Um... Okay, we lost Perna. Um, what can we do? We're going to kill off... This Molong here. Do the shield. Oh, you got the stun on me. This skill. Okay, we killed Penner off. And now what we do is now we just work down on the uh, Beaver Shell. I think we're okay. Um, yeah, we'll just do this. So thank you, Beaver Shell. We'll continue just working it down. She cut between my turns. I should have been a bit more careful about that. Diana's just gonna do Diana things here. I wonder if this Viva Shell can solo me. Armor break there is really nice. We get some stuns. Okay, we got the stun. Extend the armor break by one more turn. And now we'll work down this one. Hey, what's up, Uni? Alright, there we go. Alright, so this is a pretty straightforward cleave against the typical Communtio. Um, Ethna defense, just Zyros cleave, because all Ethna's gonna do is target the Galleon with the shield will. Um, all you do is do this, follow it up. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't land the armor break on the Kamun. It can be a little bit scary. Um, but if, as long as we reset that Theo, we should be okay. Let's see, we did reset the Theo. So now all that's left is a Kamun to fight. Uh, yeah, we'll just work down with him. There we go. Alright. Last but not least, we're gonna fight Nuka. Who's the highest plus three? So he's using Kamun, Celia, and Theo. This defense is actually pretty disgusting. Um, how am I going to counter this? Hmm. How am I going to counter this? I'm gonna go with Feng Yan. I'm gonna go with Orion. And I think I'm gonna go with Laika. Yeah, Feng, Orion, Laika. The only concern I have with this team is my Laika is faster than my Feng Yan. And it's the first time we're using Laika on, def uh, on offense. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, unfortunately I don't have my Konamiya ruined or, or I would try Lucian this. I'm a little bit on the slower side. So I need to capitalize what I can. So what we're going to do with the bottom one is we're going to do this same comp again. Uh, Molong, Diana, but with Harmonia in there. Where's my harmonia? So what we're gonna do is just target out the uh, the Zing Zhe first, um, and then work down Annabelle. The harmonia gives us a bit of security in terms of um, in terms of the cleanse aspect as well. So hopefully the Annabelle doesn't go too ham on us. So let's see how this goes. My top team does not have will runes, so. If she sleeps, I might be in a little bit of trouble. No, she doesn't get to sleep on turn one. Okay, so we got lucky there. Okay, 
Okay, we got the armor break onto the Theo, which is great. Oh, she did push back my attack bar, though. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and kill her, I think. Oh, we didn't get the kill. But she's a little bit on the derpy side. Okay. Make him force the shield onto himself. What we're going to do is put the immunity up. I mean, the, um, the counter attack up. Ooh. Hopefully this proxy's passive. No, it doesn't. Uh-oh. Okay, that pops his passive. Okay. Um, we're going to save the justice for the next attack. Uh-oh. Maybe we shouldn't have saved the justice. Now he can't heal up. No! He got the stun! <laughs> GG's in that fight. Okay, what we're gonna do here is just work down on the uh, Zing Zhe. Um, do I take the gamble? No, we won't take the gamble yet. We'll just poke first skill. So yeah, that Lyca pick was probably a bit stupid. I probably should have picked something like a Rakuni as well into that lineup. It did dirt quite a lot though. I should have probably played it out a little bit better. We'll work that down. Get rid of him. Uh, we'll cleanse the armor break on her. Armor break the Annabelle. Alright. That's it for this defense. Let's see. We're gonna we're gonna mess around with this. I mean, that's not too bad. All right, there we go. GG's Nuka. Nice first defense, dude. Your um, Celia's a little bit on the squishy side, but your uh, Kamoon and your Theomars did some work. So that's it for now, guys. I'll uh, post up another one. When we've got another Guild War. So I'll take you. I'll t I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.